7 o'clock right here, it's 90.9 FM, KHGC, my man, Slam and Sam, bringing me a whole lot of treats this week, right? What's up, Kaz? I just want to say, happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation here. You're the man. You deserve all the accolades, and we came here to support you 100%. Yeah. <laughs> accolades. I'll take that. Thank I'll take that. Um, so, you're down here. I mean, let's, let's, you know, let's, you know, cut to the chase. You're not here for the anniversary show. You've got a new artist here. Lady Sage, who's kind of like laying in the background there, <laughs> will come up to the mic and uh, take part in this conversation here. So, uh, tell me exactly how you discovered Lady Sage. Well, Lady Sage is uh, a good friend of mine, and she decided to go into a recording studio to throw together some vocals. And I said, wait a second, I got something special here. And that's how I started the new album, and with uh, having that motivation and saying, hey, we're going to roll with this and it's going to be her plus a whole other uh, big staple of uh, artists that are going to be involved with this around. We're very excited. Now let me ask you something. Uh, you know, this could come out of left field now. But sure, go ahead. Okay. Now, if she was 5'4", 215 pounds, would you still have that same inspiration? Yes. <laughs> okay. I have no discrimination. As you can tell, there was no hesitation at all with that answer. Uh, it's all about I'm, the voice. I'm just saying because every, every singer I see you with, you're very attractive. Well, that's just pure luck. Uh, that's okay. just, okay. I mean, sometimes you win the lottery, sometimes you don't. Okay. That's just the way it goes. But yeah. I guess I got to play something other than scratch offs. Oh, man. You got to play online <laughs> poker, man. That's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, man. So, so, Lady Sage, tell me exactly uh, your perspective, or your... Uh, I guess, uh, how you saw it, the way it came together. We heard Sam's version. How, how did it work for you? Well, um, we were, like he, what he said earlier, we were just hanging out, uh, mostly just hanging out in the studio, and we got inspired inspired by a certain track, and then from then on, we just went, went, rolled with it. Now, is he easy to work with? Absolutely. Or is he a taskmaster? Oh, he's very easy to work with. He's actually, we, we more like just mess I, I around. I hear some hesitation there. <laughs> well. <laughs> is, is there is a whole lot of like, uh, like uh, in that, that I, I can tear turn over, he's like, no, nah, that's not all right, that's not right. What the hell are you doing? You're going to tell me how to do the song? Is it like that? Or? No, absolutely not. Okay. No, no. We, we have a lot of fun together. Sam? Well, I smell something good in here. I don't know what it is. But, <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm smelling too. <laughs> That's why I'm hesitating. I, I'm like, what's I think, that? <laughs> I, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's getting cheated. No, actually, that's the yeah, that's the brewery downstairs. They brew their own beer. Gosh, I thought, man, that's that's gonna be great. Now we know where the after party's at. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But um, okay, so now the first song here that I got ready to go, uh, Aura. Yes. I mean, what's the the story behind this? Well. Like Lady Sage was saying, it was just a concept that we threw together in the studio, and it's just basically a dance track. Uh, it, I got really inspired with David Guetta, a uh, producer artist that is from uh, overseas, and he puts together these like electro dance tracks. And I said, hey, let me let me put a little spin to these vocals and see where we go with it. And I also want to throw a little production uh, credit to Phase G because he helped out with the. Auto tune, and you know we're not gonna lie. You know, Auto tune is a big part of a lot of hits today. If you guys don't know, go Google it. But it's a big instrumental part in a lot of music today. Auto tune. But yeah, we incorporated that in the Aura song. Okay, so you know before before I drop Aura, I, I hope you guys don't uh, go the route. Now you heard that whole story with the Usher and his, and his producer that that problem they were having, right? Uh, well, you can. Okay, let, let me let me fill you in here. Okay, so. Usher had this like song, uh, something about in the club or something, right? Yeah. Okay. So he pays his producer like a hundred grand to make the song. Mm -hmm. Comes to find out after the song's already out and he's paid the guy the money, comes to find out that all the samples and, and all the percussion and everything and the loop and everything was just something that producer took from GarageBand on, on iTunes or, you know, Apple. Right. Oh, it's a similar story with uh, Timbaland. Yeah, so the guy did not, just went in, got on his computer, took everything, basically didn't do any production, and right. got a hundred grand. Wow. You know, so don't, don't, don't be doing any of that, you know. Do some work. 
I'm in big trouble then. <laughs> big trouble. <laughs> yeah, you better not be sampled for video games. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo will come after you, man. Hey, man, Donkey Kong, here we come. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sega? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, so this is Aura. This is uh, Slam and Slam featuring Lady Sage. And this is actually the remix with uh, featuring Charisma. So this is totally new. Check there it you, out. There you go, right here, 90.9 KHCC.